Yep, it just went live. Hello. <laughs> Тэгэхээр Толгойн дээр бүтэн цайлаар л харин тийм бай. Тийм хол явж байгаа шүү дээ. За сайхан ширлэт үгээ. За тэгээд би яс ширлэт. Wow. Hello everybody. We going to we'll start soon. Pozdrawiam serdecznie wszystkich słuchaczy z Polski. Pozdrawiamy serdecznie, zapraszamy wszystkich. Ich spreche auch ein bisschen Deutsch, dann uh, wir hoffen, dass uh, wir haben uh, Gäste auch aus uh, Österreich und Deutschland. Hallo. Hallo, Hallo everybody. Buenos dias. Merhaba. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Tal? I, I think you speak uh, Spanish, right? <laughs> ah, sí. Hablo español. Pedro, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué Bonjour, madame, mademoiselle. Más que Oh, are you so 200 people. Hello. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. That's it. Buenos dias. Hello, everybody. Bonjour, bonjour, Frank, Finland. I don't know how to say hello in Finnish. Hello, USA. Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Ich habe in Deutschland studiert daran, aber ich habe vor zwei Jahren kein Deutsch gesprochen, gesprochen und ich habe viele Sätze vergessen. Entschuldige mich. Hoi. <lacht> Hallo, ich so den Dobri, den Dobri, bitte, bitte. Damen sehr herzlich willkommen aus Polski. Witamy z Mongolii serca, serca Mongolii samego środka z Ambator. Zaraz będziemy, zaraz będzie koncert live. Pana Batzoriga, pozdrawiamy. Hello from Down Under. Buongiorno. Ciao. Hello, Norway. Bonjour, ciao from Italy. Hello from Belgium. Send us some chocolate. Dark chocolate. We need dark chocolate. Yeah. Bonjour. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Dada, now you're next. <laughs> no, no, don't win this one. Don't win this one for us. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you have so many fans. Zundo. Intendis Humusaratrit, Singapore, Estonia. Thank you. Okay, shall we start? Maybe it's 10 p.m. 
yeah, hold on. Let me just do one more thing. Um, update Husuktung band page, and then we're ready to go. Merhaba, nasisim. Bring it on, you names. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Oh, someone commented like the earliest auto tune ever existed before technology. <laughs> Hello, Malaysia. Hola, Mexico. Bienvenido. Buenos Hello dias. Hello, Brazil. All right. We love Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We love also. Do you listen to battery? Who's battery? We love samba. All right, let's get started. All right, so hello, Samba Channel. My name is Aza, I'm from Mongolia Live, and welcome to the first Mongolia Live sessions of 2020. In the past, we featured many talented Mongolian artists, and this time we're going to feature our ethnic artists more. And our first artist is Batsarik Vancik. Say hello and Samba Channel to Batsarik. And also, <laughs> you all know him. And now we also have Zala. He's a content creator and stand-up comedian at UB Comedy Club from Mongolia. And he hosts podcasts, Zala Show and the Kex Podcast. And if you're Mongolian, you should probably know it. And it's ranked number three on Apple Podcasts in Mongolia. And Zala is also a host of Art Gear's Gear Talk. I think if you're on uh, YouTube, you should know Art Gear as well. And hello. Hello, everyone. We have so many people. Yeah, almost almost 300 people. We are like yeah. Sparta, 300, 300. So if you guys don't know everything about Batsarik, this is your chance to ask all of your juicy questions, listen to his beautiful music, and get to know him on a more personal level. So I'll just read a little bit of his bio so you have some background about him, all right? So Batsarik Vancik, he grew up in Gazotsom, Bayan Hongor province. It's over 600 kilometers away from our capital city. And guess how many children are in his family? Five. He's the youngest of five children. He studied horse head fiddle class at the Institute of Culture in Ulaanbaatar and graduated as a music teacher and a musician an amazing musician, obviously. And since 2000, has been working as a musician at the Mongolian Grand Theater of National Par Art until recently. And in 2009, together with his colleagues, he founded the band Husuktung. I'm sure you all know the famous Husuktung band and maybe hopefully been to their live concerts around the world as well. And he is a horsehead fiddle player and a throat singer in his band. He's the father of three beautiful children and a husband to a talented Mongolian craftswoman. And currently he lives in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. He's on a mission to develop and promote uh, our ancient Mongolian art within Mongolia and also throughout the world. And if you didn't know, the Husuktung band, um, they performed all over the world in every continent except Northern Africa or African continent. So if anybody is from the African co continent, make sure you arrange a concert. So the band covers the entire world. And their band has been featured on BBC, Sydney Morning, Morning Herald from Australia. And they've become finalists at the Asia's Got Talent. And if you've watched Marco Polo series on Netflix, you you will see him there too you've seen him there he even composed original music on the movie set and lastly um when he performed in new york city um he performed at the united nations headquarters and that's how i met him a while ago a few years ago and just recently Batsarik has been awarded the latvian music recording um best folk or world music album uh, Voices of Ancestors. He collaborated with a Latvian folk band called Ayuli. So it's been a pleasure to know Batsaruk 
all these years and support his um, artwork. And thank you so much, everyone, for following him on social media, sharing his music. And we welcome our special guest, Pastor Ivanchik. And thank you, Zola, for hosting it with me as well. Oh, it was uh, my pleasure to host all the, all the time. Thank you very much. And uh, maybe before we start, let's uh, have a brief talk about uh, the current situation in Mongolia. And we have to say, like, cur right now in Mongolia, we have only three, around 300 cases of uh, COVID. So we are very safe, uh, in a very safe environment, and we are very blessed with that. And we hope all the viewers... Uh, that you guys are safe and healthy in, with this current pandemic situation. And what's going on uh, in UB? Like, I think we uh, the end of summer for us uh, is sufficient now because we have very cold days since uh, since last week. But today was a really great uh, warm day, and uh, we we will soon start to rock with uh, Batsorex uh, Mongolia live sessions. We hope to organize uh, every month one event with uh, traditional Mongolian musician, artist, or band, and uh, we hope you will uh, enjoy it. And so, and we put really big efforts to make it uh, a quality-wise uh, production. So, and we are also very grateful to Batsorek because he will be the first artist to perform at the Mongolia Life uh, event. And then maybe let's uh, answer some questions if there are some questions from audience before we start. Let's go back to live. And thank you also everyone for donating because it's a fundraiser to support our ethnic artists. 70% goes to the artist directly and the 30% of the donations go to the, goes to the next production. Mm -hmm of our event so thank you so much for all of your love and support and already incoming donations on paypal and venmo yes so if you are a fan of mongolian music a fan of batsorik please donate show some love for mongolian ethnic music we really appreciate it thank you very much And also, if you are in Mongolia, there is a Mongolian bank account, Han Bank, that you're welcome to donate within Mongolia. So, how has 2020 been year for you? <laughs> so Batsori, what he says is in uh, 2020, in comparison to the last year, uh, he spent uh, very much time with his uh, family and he tried to focus uh, to spend as much time as he can with his family because uh, in the previous years he was very busy touring and working, but this year he spent his time with family, but also uh, he he pretty accomplished what he wanted to do this year. So he's happy in general. Mm -hmm, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. <coughs> Egobatnchit <laughs> So in 2020, what I accomplished, uh, I always wanted to improve uh, my learning of traditional Mongolian script. 
and uh, I'm learning traditional Mongolian writing with uh, traditional brush and also second accomplishment. Yeah, calligraphy, exactly, calligraphy. <laughs> Thank you, Aza. And my second focus was this year I opened it, uh, a music school where where everyone who was interested, mostly uh, youth, mostly young people or children here, they can learn how to play traditional Mongolian ethnic music like uh, horse fiddle, for example. So opening school, so what was the next thing? Uh, and he also started working on a new new album which uh, he plans to release soon so we are very excited for that yeah we can't wait for the new album and also we have an um, album coming out from Husuktung, right? Husuktung band, Husuktung Hamtlik Shin, Tomok Arkshagate. Tee. Tee, man, I'm going to play the music that I'm going to play with the Hamtrat. Tee, it was Shin Tomok Arkshagate. Jangar getting this day, Shin Tomok Arkshagate. Tee, it was Shin Tomok and I have to take your upper was in America and the two I was in talks the characters and the top shops of the Hurts and Bandit in Pilking of Toyn, Uchni, Toyn, Tatlin, the Bad Namchars, Irgit was so star, since I'm not a Hilton doctor was so high. And the Hussitan band they tried, they wanted to release a new all new new album called Jangar. And they also planned to tour in Europe and USA, but however, with the COVID-19 situation, all uh, tour plans are on hold. So, so we will gonna wait until the situation will improve, where we will be able to travel abroad. Mm -hmm. But the the album Jangar is out, so you guys can buy it. Uh, we will put the link later on as well. So, congratulations. We're uh, excited to have uh, Husuktum Band new album. It's been like uh, ten years already. We just uh, you guys celebrated the ten year anniversary. So I don't just like our team this time. Today, today, I'm not sure. Ah, today's time was the most important thing. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Musoelte, the Honsoner, the Edge Chilzaho, the Bastin to Lutz Hotzenbara, the Tokova Stavunde, the Hue, the Mini Dolce Dog, Miss Rick's game was Bas Bottom Stash or Toko Pitau hunting at Chile, was who was now. Also, one of the concerns and focuses of Batsorik is, uh, is to teach online all to all interested people. Uh, from all over the world, how to play traditional Mongolian horse fiddle. And if you're interested, uh, then please contact him and he will think <coughs> how to work it out. Yeah, we're excited to have these online classes where everyone will have access to uh, resources to learn how to play modern horde and how, how to also do homey because not everyone can make it into Mongolia, especially during these times. But um, soon enough, you should be able to take his classes online. So we're very excited for all these new developments. Yes, and me and let's uh, let's start with uh, with our show. Yes, enjoy everyone. Thank you very much for attendance, and let's enjoy. Welcome to the Mongolian live sessions. I am Patsurik from Husuktung. Thank you for supporting Mongolian ethnic music. Thank you.
unmute yourself, Salah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. That was so amazing. That was amazing. Thank you. It just uh, currently I'm not in Mongolia, so I felt like I was home already, you know. And I, I uh, want to tell you a little bit about his, this song. It's called Jaraglant Altang Mahtal, or praise song for the Jaraglant Alta Mountain. And this song was composed by Homi singer Amur Tufshung Basandorj. He is from the Exigling band. He's a friend of Batsarik. Um, he's uh, Amr Tufshing is from Haft province, Chandmansom, and currently he is uh, living and performing in Germany. And his father wrote the lyrics and he composed the music. Jaralant Alta is a mountain in Chandmansom, and um, Bastoruk says he loves this song because, um, and he asked uh, for special permission from his friend and modified it into his style. And so I don't know if um, many of you speak Mongolian, but there's a Phrase called Ave Ingushik Nalasang Jaralan Tahta Osman, Aging Hashig Yvesamu Hochtingerman. It means Jaralan mountains are like unto the embrace of my father, under the eternal blue sky, like a blessing of a mother's love. So it's, we worship and honor our nature. And that's a, this was a praise song for Jaralan Tahta Mountain in Chandman Somhoft. So thank you so much. Um, but Turgahatan, so why I decided to sing this song is because the melody and the lyrics are uh, wonderful and the song was uh, created by my friend Amra and I listened it, uh, listened it to the original song many years ago and I really loved it. And I asked my friend if I could sing it and he let me and he gave me permission. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank you so much. And it looks like every one of you also enjoyed it. So are you ready for the next song? I will tell you a little bit about it. Our next song is called The Han Empire or in Mongolian, Hungurung. And it's original song written and composed by Basarik himself about 15 years ago in 2005. And he wants to praise his warrior and hero ancestors who sacrificed so much for us so that we could have this liberty and this land and this culture and heritage. And we want to honor this legacy of the Hun Empire. And as you know, the Huns are our ancestors as well. So please enjoy the Hun Empire or Hunnugurung.
Sábado Don Tigba Trajo Hadumman Bulendo Sama Soro Don Tente Jiao Sam Thank you. 
<laughs> You're not the only one. Allah wants to be his apprentice, and I think everyone else on the Facebook comments also. Imagine all the people <laughs> who would sing like him. Nobody else. You who? <laughs> Oh, this is so amazing. I heard some of the lyrics and it talked about like how the horse horse hoofs are shaking the earth and crossing the rivers and streams, you know, conquering lands. So we have some amazing legacy and ancestors for sure. Um, um, how did you get the inspiration for the lyrics and the music and um, when you composed it? Тэгэхээр Тэгээ тэ энэгээр яа бас нэг тийм өөрийнхөө бахархсан сэтгэлээ бас нэг тийм гоё дуу хий гурван бүтээл хий гэдэг тийм бодлоор хийсэн гэж болно. Тэгээ тэр үед чи хаа яа залуу ус юм шиг байгаа юм хэл одоо. When I uh, when I composed the song I was uh, much younger uh, than now and I uh, and I always was a patriotic person who loved his uh, his ancestry and history uh, of his of his country so based on all those emotions and feelings uh, to love to his uh, nation's history and ancestry he created this music which is magnificent right and this song is called hunnu gurung or the han empire so i hope you guys all enjoyed it it's original song by batsarik so let's go on, move on to our next performance. It's called, I'm sure all of you have heard different versions of it. This is definitely one of the best versions by Batsar Vanchik. And this is Altang Mahtal, or praise song to the Altai Mountains. Praise to Altai Mountains is a well-known praise song among all Mongols. And we praise the majestic Altai Mountain in the west of Mongolia. If any of you have traveled in Mongolia, you definitely should have gone to Alta Mountain. And if you've gone, I'm sure you enjoyed it. And we honor everything that's on it, starting from plants, trees, flowers, and animals, and rivers, everything that comes with it. And as through this, we revere and honor our mother nature. Altang Mahtal. Oh, 
for now. Yes, we are all speechless right now. Zala, <clears throat> have you? Wow, what a Yeah. Zala, have you? Yeah, that was amazing performance. Zala, <laughs> have you been into Mongolian folk music? Or is it something recent? Or have you uh, liked it? I think I've been, um, I haven't been into Mongolian uh, music, but right now I'm so close to it. He's next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Describe it with one word. Describe this Ahta Mahta with one word. Um, epic. Yeah, well, I uh, I believe a lot of a lot of uh, people who are watching and don't speak speak Mongolian can feel the music music uh, within themselves because it's so you, you get so much uh, feelings emotions when you listen to it. It's straight from the heart. Like everyone can uh, relate to this music. That's mm -hmm. what I believe. Right, and musicologists say. Um or even like culture, cultural researchers, they say that Mongolian music is music of the universe and Mongolian dance and bilke is the dance of the universe. So I, mm -hmm. I believe that's true. And some, yeah. some of the, <laughs> okay, go for it, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I would like to say like, the, you know, the Mongolian music, uh, music is the language of the universe and, uh, you know, the method to support uh, but Zurich is through PayPal because it's the payment method of the universe right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go to PayPal and Venmo and come back in Mongolia. But Zurich is a lot of people who are doing this. They are doing this. They are doing this. They are doing this. Have you been to Alta Mountain and sang the praise song there? I'm going to talk to you about ไอ้ตอนนั้นเนี่ยน้อยมากเลยที่พวกเทคนิคที่ <laughs> So what uh, Batsorik uh, said is uh, 
There is a range of mountains uh, in Western Mongolia called Alte Town Bogt, Alte Five uh, Bogt, and uh, Batsurik dedicated uh, it's it's a uh, dedicated a song, and he wants to go to Alte Five Bogt, Alte Town Bogt, and sing to the mountains and praise them. Mm -hmm. I think concert and uh, concert teams were thousand dollars. He's doing it. Bags, bags, thousand dollars. Those ten days are there to go. Yes, what they were doing for ten days. I mean, I think they were doing it. Maroon or Mahtal to the home. You were doing it. Bags, they were doing it. Bags, they were doing it. 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 They were Batsuri says when he uh, sings the Alte uh, praise of Alte mountains, when he sings them, then he wants to to throat singing and while he is singing and playing on horse fiddle, he feels the music and he feels like he's uh, like he's like he is uh, transported into the mountains into the nature and it's a very wonderful feeling for him and i'm sure all of you had the same feeling there was a funny comment as well Dola, right mm -hmm. lots of by lots of people there is a comment that said somebody's dog turned into a horse and somebody's milk turned into attic um ten ten year the dogs on stis who must after a nick in the hand mirror slug in it nick in soon show that it was slug in it i ought to tell semantic he turned yeah he, he transformed through his music a dog into a horse I think if we listen to him enough, we'll all be teleported into Mongolia. I think that's our dream. Yeah, and he transformed, when I listened to Ashtay Mahtas, he transformed, transformed me, the office worker, into a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> where's, where's your uh, sword? <laughs> show, us your, show us your horse outside. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to conquer the world again. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll, I'll take care of the show. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think um, we have one extra se uh, segment. It's a bonus segment, but we'll play it at the end of the show. But I think a lot of you have um, many questions that you've uh, submitted ahead of time, and I'm sure you are also welcome to post in the comment section so we can get to know Batsarik better. Tata, do we have any questions from the fans? Oh, you're on mute, I think. I was saying uh, what I see is like uh, people are writing statements mm -hmm. instead of questions. Mm -hmm. uh, is the horse outside? Of course, yeah, I parked my uh, horse into B1 section of this uh, apartment and my horse is waiting for me. Ah, Batsarik, what's the meaning of your name? Tani, nivni otriwe. So, Batsarik te batsarik. So the meaning of uh, Batsarik is means like firm and brave because Tzarik in the Mongolian language means brave and Bat means uh, to be firm stern you can see it from his face he's you know brave and stern <laughs> well he's actually pretty gentle i think <laughs> yeah mm, nice his father named him mm. and uh what are the instruments called yeah, uh, 
болсон хоор төмөр хоор та зармын үзүүлж чадхаа болно одоо би жишээлэх юм бол энэ номын хоор өгмөө танилцуул ээ энэ бол одоо манай монголын бас эртний боломжлолт өгч юм одоо маш их ингэж одоо ховдсон тэгээд одоо шүүлийн үед маш их сэргэж эхэлж байгаа тэгээ энэ өгчмний төв хүнд болохоор одоо монголчуудын нөгөө нэг одоо ном сумнаас үүдэлт өгч юм So uh, right now I'm going to present the, the bow fiddle and uh, it, it, the culture of uh, playing on bow fiddle died out but recently it uh, it got back uh, popular again here in Mongolia and uh, this instrument was used uh, from the ancient times. Yeah, it's a music, musical weapon. That's a weapon that can be used uh, as a weapon. I know you would have to watch me this day in the church. They know that was my name on the table. And this instrument, this instrument you all already know all over the world. This instrument is called uh, Top Shore. How many strings are there? Two? Two strings. The traditional Mongolian Top Shore has two strings. Тэгээ энэ төвшөл өгчмний төвх нь бол мод маш нэгтэй юм чинь. Хавтгүй буу зарим мөрдөн судлаачд энэ морин хор гэдэг хөгжмийнхаа өвөг хэсэг нь байх магадлал. Одоо энэ үжинхэн одоо манай монголчуудын туйл хайдаг. So the top shore some researchers researchers state that uh, it existed even before horse fiddle and it's actually uh, you know a grandfather to horse fiddle so that's interesting. Um and i play on uh, on other people's nerves <laughs> yes and batsorik says he's working on uh, on the on the video content that uh, will present and explain all the instruments he's playing and he's working on it so please stay tuned yeah how many horse head fiddles do you have yes many horse fiddles many horse fiddles so Batsorik says he uh, he loves traditional mongolian instruments but one of his beloved instruments is uh, horse fiddle and he uh, he collects horse fiddles and uh, currently he has 10 horse fiddles and uh, i have a horse fiddler at my home 
Pasam, and how Tom must tell you, Gunnar, Tanya Murray King get away. Maruaga, Mata, Mongols, the Mastis, Master, the Mongols, Humbert, and Master, the Minio to Barasa, the Mongolchink Mongols, what we do, Master, to Neham, Master, who made it, such a mass mask with the Barasa, in the mass summit, and it is a totem. So, uh, Batsorik was uh, raised in the countryside and he used to look after uh, the livestock of his uh, grandfather and his uh, grandmother and now he owns uh, horses uh, in the countryside they are at his uh, family and uh, you might know you might not know but Mongolia has almost 70 million of livestock livestock and mostly majority of them are goats you know the cashmere Mongolia is uh, the second biggest producer of Kashmir in the world. Fact yeah. for you. And I think we have like seven times more horses than humans in our country. Yeah. Tani <laughs> um, what's your favorite Mongolian food? Mm -hmm. He loves uh, traditional Mongolian food, which is uh, simply boiled meat. <laughs> what, about you, what about you, Zaza? Um, uh, same. I also love, uh, uh, how you call it? Um, it's inside the bone. I love bone marrow. It's delicious. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bone marrow. It's my favorite. I also like sheep's head. It's delicious. Hmm. I love I love sheep liver with um, the fat. Mm. And yeah, fry. I love to eat. I love <laughs> to eat sheep brain like Doctor Lect Hannibal Hannibal Lecter. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've had sheep brain. <laughs> Oh, also, some people are asking about um, throating your homey, uh, mixing with metal rock. Metal rock, um, the Tosh so what Patrick says, if there is, if there will be an opportunity and chance uh, to combine homey with uh, metal music, then he will uh, give it a try. And also one of the examples uh, known in the current world is uh, the who, not the who, but the who. <laughs> and I think um, we are still working on it. Batsarik uh, and I have been collaborating with another artist. Uh, his name is Mark Rosselli. And Batsarik recorded a video for a metal song. So the CD is almost done, I think. They're looking for some um, design work. And it's almost finalized. Mark Rosselli said, I don't know if you want to do metal work. I don't know if you want to do metal work. Ah, yeah, and uh, I'm thinking I'm going to start uh, a Mongolian metal band uh, with uh, with Homie, and I'm call it like in the 13th century, the Black Death. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually, I was at the Renaissance Medieval Festival with like Mongolian attire in New York City, um, I think last year, and... There were some people representing medieval Europe. And when I told them I was from Mongolia, they'd be like, thanks for the Black Death. I'm like, you're welcome. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was like, well, sorry. But yeah, oh, well, past is in the past. We move forward into the future. Um, 
Tani Huhtu das Yamarnigan or Slinga Vista Yugine. What about your children? Do they have any musical talent? Mana at the Horo, so Batzorik uh, thinks uh, his uh, his children uh, are musically talented, and that's because he is the father of them, and he has three children, and uh, the, his middle daughter uh, she uh, she attends the National Conservatory of uh, Mongolia, and she plays the cello, and uh, his. Uh, Eldest daughter, she is very good singer, and the youngest one, and the and the youngest one is a is a son, and he when he listens to music, he goes crazy. It's very happy. But maybe it's too much sugar. But anyway, he's happy when he listens to music. Yeah, maybe. Oh well. So let's move on to our bonus segment. Guess what song? Like I'll take three guesses. Put it in the comments. Our final yes. song. Oh, it's me throat singing. No, no, no. You don't want to end there. You need a little bit more practice and more private lessons with Patsarag, I think. Yeah. So, all right. Do we have any guesses? We don't seem like. Despacito. No, I'm sorry. Lo siento. No, despacito. <laughs> Maybe next time. All right, so I will announce the next song. It is going to be, drum rolls, praise song for Chinggis Hang. One thing I want to say to you is we pronounce Chinggis Hang, C-H-I-N-G-G-I-S, Hang. We don't call him Genghis. We don't call him Genghis. We call him Chinggis, and this is how everyone should pronounce it, the Mongolian way. All right? And yeah. this is the Chinggis Han praise song. It was composed by Mukhbat, by National Cultural University professor, and the lyrics were written by his father. As you can see, you know, families compose music together. And we praise our Chinggis Han and his wisdom and legacy. And this is probably one of the most popular songs you know Batsarik by, right? All right, let's go. Yes, and please remember to donate because if you don't donate, the Mongols will invade you. Yes.
Amazing performance! Hooray for that! Like I feel like tomorrow in the morning uh, I'm gonna conquer the world. Yeah, I'll join you. I'll I'll be in charge of strategy, and you do the fighting. You know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, we also would like. Would like to thank you all for attending the show and why we are doing it uh, because we believe uh, mongolian music should be heard especially mm -hmm. in these times all over the world and also we want to support mongolian ethnic musicians like Botsorik. so please donate we really uh, we really hope you you love the content and uh, also shows show some love to us with uh, paypal and venmo and Kanbank if you're in Mongolia or in other places of the world. And um, I think it's a good time to answer some uh, some questions to uh, Pat Sorik and maybe he can teach us uh, some homie. All right, so let's read some questions. Um, Oh, that's a really good one. What's the most challenging aspect when practicing this music? I saw it, 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 I saw it,
яг яаж дуурчаа гэдэг тэгнэ гэх юм та хүн хэрвээ гэж ойлгож зүг ойлгож чадах юм бол би бол энэ нэг заавал монгол хүн гэлтгүй тэтгэлийн ямар ч хүн сурах боломжтой гэж боддог хамаг голын тэрийг хүмүүс ойлгохтой бас жоохон жоохон фишлэ. So I'm going to read again the question and uh, an answer. So what's the most challenging aspect when practicing this music? So what Bakhtorik uh, answered is, uh, for example, if you want to learn Homi, then first, the, the most important thing is understanding uh, what type of uh, tunes are getting uh, from the throat and also the, the mechanics of how the sound is uh, created within the body. So the most important aspect uh, for Batsurik is understanding and he believes that if someone un- understands the, um, uh, the homie, the way of singing throat, do, how to do throat singing, then it's going to be the most important thing and it doesn't matter if you're a Mongolian or non-Mongolian, you can learn it. Mm-hmm. I have a follow-up question. Um, somebody, some people were asking if we can sing Homi um, with another language, not only with Mongolian language, what do you think about it? Is it acceptable? Homi Goshkarata, Tsukhun Mongol Hizir, Dolch Stayo, Sulch, Ur Hizir, Bas, Dolch Bacho, Get Asajisa? Basm, Ur Hizir, Dolch Nzaos, Mongol Hizir, Dolch Asbo, the Chilkim Badnam, and a wrong getnik, Nedjitik Kosanzaso, Tilchar. Монгол дээр хүмүүс их сурсан тэгсэн мөртө одоо очиод голланд өөрийнхөө голланд хэлээр хүмүүс хийчихд болдог. So uh, Batsorik says that you can you can absolutely sing homey in uh, in your own language it, it it should not be it's not on, it's not only the Mongolian language but it also can be any other language and for example Batsorik has a Dutch friend uh, Rowan who lives in the uh, Netherlands and he learned Homi from Batsorik, and now he sings uh, he sings uh, a great Komi song in Dutch about tulips. <laughs> yeah, he didn't say that, but yeah, I'm sure he has to talk. he has to sing about tulips being a Dutch. Yeah, especially during the tulip festival, right? Opening ceremony. Um, and also Batsorik, uh, people are asking how do people get started, or if we're, if they're learning, how can they improve? Um, эхэлж сурах хэвээр байна. Эсвэл одоо байгаа нь харахраа сурцсан харахраа одоо энэ техникаа яаж тайжруулах хэрэгтэй вэ гинэ? Яаж хэлэх хэвээр байна? Одоо ер нь ингээд хэрвээ зүв ойлгоод зүв дуурч чадчих юм бол мэдээж практик маш хэрэгтэй. Тэгээ мэдээж маш их хичээж татчихэж олон хүмүүс сайжрна. А хамгийн гол нь зүв дуурч чэнэ үгүй юу гэдгийг л нэг гол мэдэх юм маш их Mm. So uh, the answer to the question is, uh, as I uh, as I uh, as I said previously, the understanding is very important. And the second and the second <coughs> biggest challenge is uh, when you practice to uh, to know or apprehend if you are like uh, getting out from you the correct sounds. That's the most important thing. Yeah, that means you got to have a really good teacher like Batsarik and we have to get his classes getting started pretty soon because I think we'll have lots of students. Yeah, and the first way to learn Homi is to donate. Right, you got to pay the tuition fee first. <laughs> but we'll, we'll give you some free lessons, right? So um, let's start with some basic Batsarik. Jahan Homi Zaj Huwata Isigre Khashra Yamar Yamar Yalakta Yitag Mishay. Not on Isigre Khashra. Okay, let's speak to Zalla. He'll be the guinea pig for us. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to be his disciple at the moment. So he's going to teach us <coughs> by me uh, the basics of Homi. That's right. Ato Huni Zgur Ingi Hada Wad Ingi Tawr Ishti. Oh, 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 oh. Zainu Wad Ingi Hada Te. Um, this is a this is a simple uh, simple voice from uh, from our throat that any anyone can do it. Ah, the human torture technique in this of machine in donas city to do. And by uh, and by this example, I'm going to show you how different uh, the throat singing is from traditional uh, from or from normal voice. Oh. oh. Oh, 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 oh,
өөр байх гоё. Аа одоо зүгээр энгийн энгийн хоолон дээр бол яг хэрвээ шахаага ингээд зүг олж дуугарч чадах юм бол энгийн хоолон дээр тех нэг юм байлаа. Аа энэ бол энгийн хоолон дээр яг ингээд зүг тех нэг юм байхгүй. Одоо энэний цаанд юу хэрэгтэй гэхээр шахалт хоолоог ингээд бүр ингээд шахна. So uh, what uh, Batsuri demonstrated is he demonstrated uh, the simple voice with uh, pressure on the throat and that makes uh, that's the basic of throat singing. In a thing it was trying was Chisney taking хилээр одоо энэ нэг чиргийг оруулж байгаа байхгүй. А тэгээд яг эсвэрэний айлгуу гэнэ оруулах юм бол аа хилээр ингээд таарах. Тэгээд хил чин нэг одоо ингээд тагнаа хилвэр ээс оруулж байгаа тэр авиаг гэж хойрлт айлгуу оруулдаг ч юм I see. So uh, he uh, presented the two techniques, and the first one was uh, he called it the tongue technique, which is like he makes uh, voices by moving his tongue. And the second one is, if this is a tongue, then you uh, lock <coughs> the upper area of your mouth, and then uh, with that, there's this uh, special sound created. Very easy. Every can now you can now we all can do, homie. Hey, all the techniques are revealed. Us. Матгий одоо яах вэ? Одоо чи оо 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 тэ юу? Одоо энэ хэлээд одоо чухан оо одоо энэ нэг оролт хэрэггүй чухан. Yeah, <laughs> 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 та энэ энэ техникүүд нь бол яг наа намны үнд бол зөв хорч байгаа. Хамаа гол нь одоо хүмүүсийн жоох ойлгох хэрэгтэй юм. Одоо хүмүүний багшийн ойлголт гэж хичээдэг юм яг энэ шахалт. Зөв шахалт. So the most difficult part is uh, is to learn how to pressure your throat to get this uh, distinct voice which is very difficult even for me. Тэгээд хүмүүс тэр шахалтыг нь ойлгоог өнхөлт наатлынх нь авиагийн сурах гэдэг ингээд өөгөө янзд юм оролдоод өгөхгүй тэр нь авиаг хөт алтаа болоо а so uh, the the biggest mistake people learn people who learn throat singing is they try to get uh, this special throat singing singing sound but when they uh, but instead they should they should uh, put more emphasis and attention how to pressure the throat hmm That's interesting. Um, so we'll do more demos a little bit in a little bit. Uh, people were asking about the memes. Pastor, how many get? How many zorgar get? Zundo get? Inis te inis te zorgna kitsun be dish te te. Ta tirik yuu jat te ke tan te uchil te tu tan ta te tu ko gne. What do you think about all the memes people, your fans are creating all over the world? Na to eris mo has na tu be o te ri ge go te mo erga na u te cha te. Ah, na to. <laughs> so the answer to the meme question is uh, I really I do enjoy uh, the memes with me and uh, I like them and I enjoy them and, and I'm thankful for them. He even made a t-shirt out of it, right? So um, that's how much he likes them. He's proud he probably wears it. 
Was there a question? No, I'm just saying it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just commenting on it. Um, so, um, can we see, can we listen to the difference between istigre, khakhra, and the different types of homey tones? Um, Yanzurin or homini ungo, I don't know the dish, the tidnering, yasragin sans marahi. The Mongols homing a diurnal cosphere tom to the heading homi for you, hera homi, same hoir of tom to think it. Quartic, a chilly multigate in hoir day, a tulsin to drum a shot and taken to the Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, there are there are like two, two let's say two schools of throat singing. One is called narrow, and uh, Ata, how would you translate harkra? I would just say harkra. <laughs> barking. <laughs> they have to learn. No, not barking. Um, I okay. think people when people learn homi, they should learn the Mongolian phrases because um, they shouldn't. Some of them aren't going to be translated literally, so it's best to learn the Mongolian terminologies. So I would I would explain one is like narrow throat singing, and the other one is the khakhra style. Deeper or the lower, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> And this was the example of narrow homie. At the end, get after. Getting good. This day, this book at the end of the name. And then, and the narrow uh, homie is uh, is divided and and can be separated into various different uh, techniques with uh, using tongue. And we only got the tongue to listen to the narrow homie for you. And this was the example of Hadhra, which has a more um, bass sound, like more guttural sound. Oh. <laughs> Let's do some rave. Yeah, so basically the, those are uh, the, the basics uh, of homey and then um, and, the, and if you want to learn more, wait for the master class of Batsorik soon. Right, and um, the narrow one is called Isigre, which means pretty much the whistle. So Pastorik, mm -hmm. um, one last question. I know we have lots of questions and we will answer them on Instagram, on Facebook, one by one. We just simply don't have time to address all of them on this chat. And um, there, we will give you lots of resources to learn more about Mongolian history, Mongolian music, and follow him on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and also donate so we can do more of these amazing shows. Um, Bastor, what do you think about all the fans? Um, you have fans from all over the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> та дэлхий дахин суугаа бүх бэнүүдтэй маш их баярлаа. Үргэлж намайг дэмждэгт нь маш их баярлаа. Танартаа маш их хайртай шүү гэж хэлмээр. And I would like to thank uh, to all my fans uh, over the world and um, I'm really grateful that uh, you listen to me to me and with me I try to 
I try to be medium to uh, to show the Mongolian culture and Mongolian musical art. So thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. And I will work hard to make uh, great music, great art to you. And I love you all. And you got you got to show us your calligraphy because Mongolian script is so such an important part of our culture and our identity that every Mongol or even the entire world should learn about it because it's the only vertical and from left to right script in the world. Um, Tapi <laughs> And I would like to say that I love uh, <coughs> Mongolian traditional uh, Uyghur script, which is uh, vertical, and I hope that uh, especially young Mongols, they will uh, master the craft of uh, learning Mongolian script because it's beautiful. And also he would like to uh, like that anyone interested in, uh, in Mongolia at least could uh, learn how to write their names, for example. Yeah, and we have to keep learning too. So thank you so much. Um, are there any other last wishes and comments before we wrap it up? I think it's been pretty fun. We spent almost 90 minutes together. And thank you so much for joining from all over the world. Yeah, yes. And please remember that if you will not, not donate, then the Mongols will knock on your door and conquer you. That's true. That's true. <laughs> And these days, travel is so easy. So we'll show up on your door any second if you do not donate to our PayPal, Venmo, or Ham Bank in Mongolia. And you will have access to these recordings later on. Um, follow Pasarik on all the different channels and um, stay tuned for his new upcoming album. Check out his Kusuktung Band's album already. It's out and his own personal CD is going to come out pretty soon. Yes, uh, follow Patsorik, but don't stalk him. And I'd like to say shout out to all the homies doing homie. Yeah, and I just learned a new word, base. Everyone keeps using the word base. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. What's up, guys? Hey, Ramu. All good. He's What's been up? behind the scenes. Yeah, I know. Operating, managing everything. <laughs> yeah, did we have a good show? <laughs> yes, I think so. Yeah, Rebu I think is yes. the founder of Mongolia Live. As, as, as you can see, behind every successful Mongolian uh, domination, there is an Indian <laughs> yeah, technician. Yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's an Indian IT guy at the back. <laughs> 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 Wearing a Hawaiian shirt, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, know. <laughs> I know. I know. Regu has been uh, an mm -hmm. avid supporter of Mongolian music and arts for I don't know how many years, longer than we've been around, I think. Well, well, so, well I, I, I try to hide. I, I was uh, living there for eight years and, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's amazing was the culture is interesting because it gives so much rights to women. Like, you know, there's, uh, there's gender equality that you can't find in, in maybe like uh, Indian culture. Uh, there are a lot of things that that um, you know people like me can 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 learn from Mongolia. So you know, it's just like uh, anything we all can do to help. You know, it's, uh, uh, yeah. And somebody it's, it's just good. called you a Mongolia live admin is a Mongol. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And you know, so uh, uh, like 
uh, also kind of like you know the reason that we're doing this show is is so that you know we can also feature other ethnic artists uh, and uh, get uh, our fans and their fans to support this show. So you know, uh, um, as we build ourselves, you know, we can also support uh, Mongolian music and arts and culture. You know, it's like especially with COVID, um, uh, people can't perform; they can't do live performances. So you know, a, a lot of the Mongolian ethnic bands are huge. Like they have uh, eight to nine pe uh, people, maybe ten people even. Right. Uh, some are four or five, and and it's difficult to make money. Uh, when your main income is uh, live performances, so so you know just shows like this uh, and and donations from generous viewers will help you know uh, kind of like help them through this uh, tough time. Right. Yes, especially as as Raghu said, with with COVID, with pandemics, with lockdown, even the Mongolian musical uh, musical warriors can't conquer the rest of the world because they are like under the lockdown. We'll do a digital virtual conquest. Conquest. Yes. I forgot to add one more thing. We had some special gifts for those who donate to us. Um, we have this magnificent Mongolia coloring book. It's like an adult coloring book. Even children or anybody can um, uh, color it. These are Mongolian themed coloring books. So if you donate $25 or more, I will ship them out to you in the u.s and um if you're in another country i will make sure um to also ship it to you so we have like a, around 20 of those and the first 20 people who donate for um, 25 dollars or more we will ship it out to you and then if you donate 100 dollars or more we have this amazing um also gift for you it's called a uh, gear or yurt, we call it gear, G-E-R. And this is assembly gear with furniture inside. Um, it's a real size, well, not real size, but all the ratios are the same. And this is uh, an awesome souvenir or even like a toy for children or like a nice gift for you or a nice souvenir to be sitting in your home and you can put like furniture and everything else in it. So this is an assembly gear. If you donate $100 or more, we will ship it out to you. There are not many here, around like 10 or 15. So make sure you donate so you can have like made in Mongolia products in your home and continue to have um, beautiful experiences with our uh, culture. Listen to Basarov's music, assemble a gear or, you know, color and beautiful Mongolia themed coloring books and enjoy our tangible gifts to you since we cannot uh, visit you in person. So make sure to donate. We have gifts for you as well. Yes, and soon we, we're going to also la launch a uh, motivation, mo motivational speaking course, Awaken the Chinggis Han Within Yourself. <laughs> It'll be a focused meditation, right? Um, channel your inner Chinggis Han, conquer all your obstacles, your fears and your insecurities and stay close to the nature, you know. Okay, I could keep yes. going on and on and make up stuff yes. on the spot. <laughs> yes, and the, second, and the second part of the motivational course is how I stopped worrying and I conquered the world. <laughs> and built an empire, <laughs> cultural empire. Anyways, we will come back with more shows and we will feature amazing artists. We have so many other artists that we want to introduce to you and so many amazing um, artifacts and items that are Mongolian made. So um, thank you so much for joining. So are we done? All right. Yeah, I think yes, we're done. We're done. All right. So, so see you guys. Bye bye. Oh, Yes, yeah, so let, let's, have a, let's have a last word from uh, Pat Zorik himself. Yes, we'll do that. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
So I would like to thank you all of you for spending so much uh, time with me. And uh, I promise you that I'm, I will gonna work hard to to create as much as much music as I can. And thank you very much for spending time with me. And I uh, love you all. I send love to all of you. And thank you for supporting my music. All right. Thank you so much. Love you, all the Mongolians around the world, all the fans around the world. We're with you, Southern Mongolia, Inner Mongolia. Keep your Mongol Pichig. Keep our culture and our identity and our tongue and language. Bye. Yeah, goodbye. Thank you very much. We love you.